Darren Millard, Brad Fay, Jamie Campbell, and Mike Toth. Four great anchors, one promise. To bring you the best coverage of your favorite home teams first. Four times of prime time. Seven nights a week at 10, 11 Atlantic. Fingers for Jeff Gordon. They didn't work out too well. About five laps into this run, he said, I'm dead sideways getting into the corner. And it was like a song. He'd come on about every 10 laps. Getting looser. Getting looser. Jeff Burton is also on pit road. He said it's pushing like a pig one moment. Pushing like a truck the next moment. Not very good for these two guys. It was a wedge adjustment for Jeff Gordon and an air pressure adjustment for Jeff Burton. What did he say? He said a wedge like adjustment. A truck. Pushing oh. like a pig and pushing like a truck. Yeah, something like that. James Inch, Johnny Benson's crew chief. I was talking to him this morning. He, he said had, he had several words for it: truck, pig, dog. I mean, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> I didn't know. And there some was, I can't say on television. I didn't know there was a difference in pushing like a pig and now it's pushing like a truck. I, I never heard to honestly that. pushing like a pig. I figured it was a Wally word. <laughs> Could be. I like it. Yeah, I've used it, a pig. I talked to James Inch this morning, Johnny Benson's crew chief, and he said. About every crew chief on pit road today, at some point during the race, is going to have to come on the radio and tell the driver, stop complaining. It's Rockingham. We can't do anything about it. It's easy for them to say, isn't oh, it? Yeah, right. <laughs> Get there and slide a 3,600 pound race car around. Well, we're going to scream. You're the one that's buckling those seat belts. Yeah, I know. Now, watch how quickly the 99 car leaves the leader on those fresh tires. Bill? Well, Alan, uh, Ken Schrader was just, uh, you know, explaining that he really wanted to come in and get tires, and the crew chief said, stay out there a little longer, and Schrader said, come in this time. So, <laughs> he's in, he's got fuel, he got his windshield clean, and by the way, his teammate, Johnny Benson, told James Ince just a couple of laps ago, my tires are gone, we're sliding all over the place. He said, that's okay, everybody's tires are gone, they're all sliding all over the place, so just hang on. I like that. Out of boy, James. Yep, I'm coming in now. <laughs> yeah, I got gotcha. you. You know, this is unbelievable. Last time, Kurt Busch stayed on the racetrack and put a bunch of cars a lap down. Now, this time, he's one of the first leaders to hit pit road. Matt, what's going on down there? Benny, his crew chief, Ben Leslie, told him, don't worry about it. The only thing that will hurt us if we catch a caution while we're on pit road. They will make a four-tire change. He says the car is sliding the nose. He says also, it's even more so when he gets on the brakes hard. They made a wedge adjustment when they told him they were going to do that on the radio. He said, wonderful, that's what I need. The left sides go on. And Kurt Bush is out of the way. What this does is it gives them two 70-lap runs to the end of the race by stopping here. But they're gambling that the caution doesn't come out. Well, that's right. And you're right, Alan. I think they went to the end of the race and came back and said, okay, we're going to split this in half, and we're going to have two 70-lap runs. Matt Kenseth trying to fight to stay on the lead lap from Joe Nemechek. Pit road starting to get busy. Bobby Hamilton, Elliot Sadler, Kevin LePage, Bobby Hamilton Jr. All coming in under the green at lap 256. Marty. Elliot Sadler's been having a fairly solid run today, Alan. They are tight, and uh, they are getting tighter the longer they run. Having a load of problems on the right front tire there is Elliot Sadler, and they are struggling here this afternoon. Today, Burns. Bobby Hamilton comes in, gets a fresh drink. He also gets a chassis adjustment. Earlier this year, he finished 13th. He finished 9th in this race last year, so Hamilton knows how to run the rock. Four tires, he is gone. Still think it might be another 10, 12 laps before we see the leaders in. Bill? And Robbie Gordon, one of the guys not contending for the win, but on pit road now, he's got four tires and fuel, and he goes back on his way as he continues to audition for 2002, Alan. Robbie Gordon is back in 36th place right now. John Andretti's in, Marty. Very loose for Andretti, Allen. Two rounds of wedge into the left side, trying to help him out a little bit. These guys have had a very tough day and a very difficult day for all of Petty Enterprises. Today, Burns. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is in. Chassis adjustment at the track bar. They make that adjustment, go around to the left side. Good stop so far for the eight crew. And they finish it up, put the car down, and he leads pit lane. Good pit Matt. stop. And here comes Bobby Labonte. He has one win here, looking for a second. They are going to make an air pressure adjustment and a wedge adjustment on this 18 car. Down one pound on all the tires except the right rear. You also saw the wedge adjustment as Jeff Chandler puts on that left front tire. The 17 passes the 18. Let's go to Bill Weber. 
And Johnny Benson finally got his wish on pit road for just four tires and fuel around to the left side. Benson, a strong run, had to try and hang on to that lead lap. Now getting ready to head back out. So Benson rejoins the chase. Nemechek, Kenny Wallace, Jerry Nadeau, Ward Burton, and Dale Jarrett. Along with Tony Stewart, those on the lead lap who've not yet stopped. Marty? Rusty Wallace eases down pit road, Allen. He is running in the 12th position. He was loose before. In fact, they have been loose all day long. Now he's too tight, however. So what they're going to do is take a half pound out of the right front. The car has been pretty good for Rusty, but they have been caught down uh, by track position. They also go down one round on the track bar as well. They have six top tens in their last seven starts here and have a pretty good pit stop going on as well. Today, Burns. On the 22 car, the rear tire changer is also the crew chief. That's Tommy Ball. Win Jr. They're going to make no changes for Ward. He likes the car. Just four tires and fuel on this number 22 car. They're around to the left side. Good pit stop so far. And he peels out away from his pit stall. Not a bad stop. 15.6. Ricky Craven. Looks like things went a little smoother that time. That's because the caution flag didn't come out. Here comes Tony Stewart off the racetrack onto the pit lane. He moved up to fifth before stopping here. Still got Nemechek, Wallace, Nadeau, and Jarrett out on the track before the cycle of stops will be completed. Stewart's headed for Dave Burns. And Tony Stewart radioed in that he's a little tight entering the center of the corner and that he needs a little bit more forward bite on the Home Depot Pontiac. Crew goes to work. They're going to make that change with a chassis adjustment, a wrench in the right rear. Also going to make an air pressure adjustment. Four tires and fuel for Tony. A good run so far for the 20 car. Both he and his teammate, Bobby Labonte, have been good here at the Rock. And Tony, another good pit stop by his crew. And the 93 car of Dave Blaney is in earlier. He got too close to the wall when he pitted, and the crew had a really slow stop because they couldn't jack up the left side. He's out this time. The jack man is able to put the full pump on the jack, and he gets the car up. A good pit stop going for Dave Blaney, and he's gone. Marty. Casey Atwood is here. Remember, they had the great run last week at Phoenix. They led 71 laps. Today has not been so kind to young Casey Atwood. He is uh, very loose, and they get looser the longer they run. They have made several adjustments to this car all day long. None of them have helped to Casey Atwood. In front of him, Sterling Marlin slides to a stop. He is running in the 10th position and running pretty well. His crew chief asked him, is the car loose? He said, no. Is it tight? He said, no. He said, we just don't have any grip right now. So they're going to try and help him out with a little bit of an air pressure adjustment for Sterling again. Run 10th position. These guys have two straight finishes out of the top 10. They have fallen from third to fifth in the points. To Matt Yoakum. And Jerry Nadeau, makes, Jerry Nadeau makes his way down to his pit stall. I spoke with Gordon Gibbs, the car chief. He told me Jerry's reporting his car is still loose up off the corner. He's held, he has lacked forward bite all day today, and they were still talking about what adjustments to make. Looks like it could just be it. Yep, there goes the wedge wrench, air pressure, and a wedge adjustment for Jerry Nadeau in the 25 car. This car he drove to a second place at Dover, hoping to pick up his first win here at the Rock as they have packed that fuel cell full of fuel, and he's out of here. To Bill. Well, Joe Nemechek finally hits pit road. The crawl down to his pit stop just past the start-finish line. Outstanding run for Nemechek. Once again, this expected to be a four-tire stop and no changes. Nemechek has been very quiet on the radio. When he has a good car, you won't hear much from him. That's been the case today. Working well with his car owner, working well with his spotter. Nemechek's got his left side tires, making sure they get as much fuel in his mouth. He heads down pit road. Now here's Dale Jarrett. Last lap he almost brushed the wall coming out of turn four in fact i can't see that side of the car but he may have actually hit the wall on pit road this time for four tires jared's car has gotten progressively better throughout the day since they made that first pit stop we told you about you can see some great smoke there dale jared has four tires and fuel he's on his way we're on our way today One. Ricky Rudd is in. He brings the 28. They're going to wash the windshield. Usually they have tearaways they pull away, but they're going to actually send an extra crew member over to wash the windshield. That's rather unusual. Four tires and fuel. He'll have to scoot out of there now as we go to Matt. They took the track bar adjustment for the last stop out of the one car because Kenny Wallace said the car got too tight. Eddie Naraki also pulled the tearaway off the windshields. 
to give Kenny a little better visibility. No other adjustments than that. And the cycle of pit stops is completed. New leader, Kurt Busch. Short pitting. He's been out there faster on those fresher tires than all these guys that waited. Kurt Busch came down pit road at lap one. Oh, check that. That was the last set of pit stops. Let me flip the page here. He came down at lap 253, and these guys came in 15 laps later. So that's almost a half lap that he has gained on the leaders. You know, I'll, I'll tell you why they washed the windshield on Ricky Rudd's car but rather than tearing a, a rip, ripping a tear off off. Watch as Ward Burton goes down the front straight away. And watch as he drives down in the sun. We did this on Jeff Gordon's car just a moment ago. And you see the glare in the racetrack almost disappears. I'm pretty sure on Ricky Rudd's car that they've used all the tearaways that he had. The only thing they can do now is go out and clean the windshield. And just if you're sitting at home saying, yeah, but you're only allowed seven men over the wall, it's kind of a standard thing at each race. Somewhere about halfway through, NASCAR allows the teams to send an extra man over the wall, but he's only allowed to service the windshield. Dave? And as I watched his car, I was looking at it just to see if that was indeed the case. There was one little triangle of red fluorescent tape left on both the top right and top middle of his windshield, indicating there's probably one left. I guess you saved one for the very end of the race. And I'll tell you one thing, as we watch Ward Burton come through three and four and go down towards turn one, those grandstands down in turn one are the greatest thing that ever happened to the drivers. Because you see those grandstands, they're blocking the sun somewhat. That really helps. Didn't used to be that way. Just seven cars left on the lead lap. Those five plus Jerry Nadeau and Ward Burton. like ride and rugged good looks the 2002 hyundai santa fe really takes hold on road or off hey edge gel is gonna clean up your act with edge clean shave gel edge clean edge clean's got a built-in facial cleanser that helps lift dirt and oil every time you lather to help lift dirt and oil every time you shave. Edge clean complete. 